this. Whatever else it is, a poem is often nothing more than thinking there's something there to be found when there's nothing but thinking so. All right, Jake, can you start us off on dealing with that poem? It's very Cormanian. Uh, sure. Okay. My pleasure. Um, okay, so I want to just start by pointing out all the, all the line breaks here. Yeah, I which, didn't read the line breaks very well. I should have read it like Creeley would read it. Well, maybe I'll give it a shot, if okay, I may. Okay, would you? Whatever else, it is a poem. It's often nothing more than thinking. There's something there to be found when there's nothing but thinking so. That ambiguity of these, these line breaks really lend themselves to um, kind of um, messing with possibilities of where sense could go. I kind of like the discontinuous little tidbits of, of, of these lines. The meaning starts to come together as, you, um, as you're putting these shreds together or to the contrary, you're picking the shreds apart and then all, all, all of a sudden the, the something and the nothing starts to interact in a poem-like way. Anna, what is this, the title? What does the title refer to? This, to me, seems to refer to... Um, either the poem that we have in front of us or the act of poem, poeming. Can you just say what the poem says? Am I pushing you too A far poem here? is often nothing more than a poem. Okay. Lily, can you try it? Yeah. I mean, yes, I think that's yeah. right. I didn't mean to say that you didn't get it right, but there, we can say more. Whatever else it is, a poem is meaning it's a little like... Um, it isn't for want of something to say. I mean, yes, poems are all these other things. They've got stories. They've got content. But I think if you were going to pull a line, the summary would be um, a poem is often nothing more than thinking. So it's not if you were going to look for the actual material object that is a poem, you would find very little. But what makes it be the meaningful, important thing it is, is the thinking that the reader brings to it. Nice. It, it's, it's often nothing more than thinking, but think, I love the way Jake read this because it would stop at thinking, nothing more than thinking. Nothing more than thinking that there's something, it isn't for want of something to say, that there's something, when in fact there's nothing but thinking that there's something. Yeah, the only action of the poem is thinking and being. <laughs> thinking, and so the poem is thinking that every time you write a, every time you're poeming, you think that poems are supposed to carry some kind of freight, some kind of load, some kind of message, something to say, something you need to know. But in fact, all it is is thinking that that's true. The poem is thinking that there's something to say, but there's nothing to say except thinking that there is. And then you believe enough into, in creating a poem. And that's what this is. That's what this work is. For occupation, this. She sits there in her room in Amherst with her friends. She's not totally alone. She's sitting there thinking, as long as I think I have something to say, I will write a poem, which is nothing more than thinking that I think it has something to say. Dave, what do you think? This seems a little similar to the way uh, for me uh, in that I think both poems give this impression uh, that language is really a tool, the, the instrumentality of language, that these poems really just sort of step back. I mean, they're obviously hyper-meta, but they step back and they sort of focus on this, this toolness of the language, the fact that it, it um, is used to do something, not something in itself. So it's sort of hyper-conscious of language as a tool in this way. And ultimately, when you look at language like that, when you look at poems as just these instrumental things, what's really left is um, the meaning that we bring to it, that we put into it. Yeah. So that's just a thought I have. That's great. Katrin? Yes? Hi. What do you think of all uh, this? Why did you ask about this well, poem? I, I asked about it because uh, when I read a poem, uh, a Mod Poe poem, usually I read it and then I think about it for a while and then I, I watch the video. And in the video, um, you read it quite differently from the way I read it in my mind. I read it more like, like Jake did. Yeah. And for me, the pivotal word there is it. Uh, whatever else, it is a poem. And so it, it oh. pivots to this and it pivots to poem. 
and and the poem it's just full of possibilities there it was yeah i i just love the way it did that yeah. and the way it's about not thought but thinking po- the poem is a process yeah um and 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 then as as you come to the end both this and the poem disappear they just sort of vanish and it's over yeah. I, I love it <laughs> 